Alrighty, everybody, so I know that I sound horrible. Um, I am currently sick. <laughs> if you didn't see the notification in either the Discord or on the YouTube channel, I have a double sinus and ear infection. I'm pretty prone to ear infections and sinus infections, so, like, it's not new to me. It's just been a little bit since I've been sick with one. Uh, but we are out here on Settler Creeks today, and this is going to kick off all of September long. We're going to be doing... Um, as close to an IRL hunt as I can get in the game for the setup of hunting that I myself do in real life on the property that I hunt. So the property that I hunt is private property. It is owned by my family. And so I chose Settler Creeks for a few reasons. Mostly because of the terrain and vegetation and some of the animals that are available are going to be very similar to what I hunt <clears throat> here in Iowa. Uh, we're out here just for whitetail, so all that I have with me is all the same stuff that I pretty much bring with me on a real hunt. So in my inventory, I have the Compound Bow Pole Saw R, which I've talked about before being pretty similar to the bow that I use. I only have one pack of arrows because I would only fill up the quiver of this. That's really all I would take. I have a water bottle, med pack, a camera. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a grunt call, the can, binoculars, and a range finder, separate, white tail, like, urine spray, scent eliminator, and a blind. <clears throat> I am wearing full camo. Sorry, wrong button. I'm wearing full summer camo. Same as I would in real life. We've headed out here from the southern outpost on Settler Creeks. Because this is the most similar to the landscape that I hunt, and we're headed to this little tiny pond, because that's what I hunt off of on our property. We have a very small pond on the back side of our property, far away from, you know, the farm. It's not very big at all, but it's enough of a watering hole that it attracts deer and other animals. That's where we're headed. We're gonna get there, we're gonna place the blind, and... Effectively, I would be coming back another day after placing the blind. Like, we would put the blind out about a month before hunting season. Which is, you know, September is a month before our hunting season. Archery opens up for us October 1st. And for the month of October, we're going to have another theme to our videos. But for all of September, it's going to be, you know, as close to what my IRL hunts are, but in game. So without further ado, let's get out there. Let's get blind placed and then we will start on what I hope to be how my hunt can go this year. I will say one thing that is kind of different is in classic here I can't start my hunt any earlier than 5 a.m. So we are out here you know the sun is coming up but in real life I do head out before the sun does rise which is usually about 4.30 in the morning, early in the hunting season. But after the time changes, it gets a little earlier in the morning that I'll be getting up to get out there. <clears throat> but one thing I do as I walk in, I will hit my grunt call. Hit that. <laughs> I know it seems odd to hit a call before I'm in and before I'm settled, but for me, I have spooked deer walking in sometimes just because, you know, I do make some noise and, like, in my head it makes sense and so far it's worked. But if while I'm walking, if I let out, like, a grunt max two on the way to the place where I put my stand up or where my stand is, it doesn't seem to spook them as far. Now that we're out here, I'd like to find a place similar to where I would put my blind, but I think we're kind of limited on where my blind will actually let me place it. So we're gonna do... Never mind. Because I know if I place that, he'll spook, we're not gonna place it. Which actually is a little more accurate because I used to literally just get in some deep brush and sit. <clears throat> so we're gonna sit tight and 
rinse a brush like I would. I'm gonna let out a grunt. I'm going to make sure that I have scent eliminator on, which for me, I would have, you know, showered in a scentless body wash, shampoo the morning before. I'm gonna put out just like a little spritz of deer urine. Sit tight. Wait. And since I heard it over here, we'll get a look. I don't see anything on the ridge line. <clears throat> which is fine. For classic, I'm gonna make sure that I'm camouflaged. I am, which is good. <clears throat> but now that I'm sitting here, and I've heard a deer, I'm just gonna get an idea. So like this rock, the close side is at 27. That tree is at 45. That tree is at 64. So that way I kind of have an idea of how close this deer is. Or the sight pins on my bow. I'm gonna make sure my quiver is loaded. And we're just gonna sit tight for a little bit. <clears throat> the buck called again. It's up this way a little more. I may just lay down. Which in real life I wouldn't be, but in real life I'd have a bit more cover than this. <clears throat> Here in classic, I might lay down and we'll just see what But I know he's gotten closer, and I know he's still on his way in. So we are gonna lay down here, just kinda chill out. As I hit the wrong button and stood up there for a second, but you know. Now, because this is a video game, I have let out a couple other calls just to make sure that the deer is still coming in. In real life, once I've called twice max, I stay quiet. Because I want the deer to come find me. I want them to be curious enough, but not super aware of where exactly I am. in that 30 meters solid buck I'm gonna draw <sighs> take a shot down <coughs> and you know I'll sit tight for a couple of minutes wait watch I know this is a video game and I can see with that pink highlight that he is down but realistically, I would sit tight. I wouldn't move. If in real life the deer had dropped like that, I would, you know, stand up, move slowly towards it, make sure it's actually down, and I would get out a second arrow, ready to go, just in case I needed to make a second follow-up shot. If I had spined him on accident. Uh, but it is a video game, so it does have that little aspect to it. He did fall in the water. But we're gonna pick him up and we'll take a nice little trophy shot. Long liver, 29 meters, 126. We'll take a trophy shot. I'm gonna move my character a little bit, <laughs> pull out my bow that I used. Um, you know, we drag him, you know, out of the water. Set him up for a nice shot. I'm gonna turn him around. But you know, we, you know, we'd pull him out, make him look nice for the picture, 
we take some picture like this. That's a fact, you know. I wouldn't be me actually through the animal, hopefully, but... Without owning all the trophy poses for the character, we make do. Pull him up, get him out of the water, take a nice photo of him. Uh, I would not be posting this photo on my main social media accounts, but I would post it for you guys because I know that posting stuff like this on your main social media accounts can make some people uncomfortable if they're not all about hunting. And, you know, that can be kind of upsetting, but for those of you who follow me, you know, here on YouTube or over on Twitch or are in my Discord, I know that you're there because you enjoy hunting as, whether it be a video game aspect or real life aspect or both even. So like the photo that we take, luckily it was a buck here in this game today, uh, but you know, I would take a doe and then as far as processing goes, I do prefer to process my deer myself. I have a friend who does taxidermy as a hobby and you know, for state regulations between the different states that we live in, we would, you know, do everything proper. That way I could get whatever I needed to get to her if she wanted to do something with it. If it was a buck, we'd probably get it mounted. And if not, I would at least do some form of, like, a skull plate with a rack. If it's just a doe, you know, I would send her the pelt to do with what she pleases. Cause, but this is it. This is the buck. We did, you know, as close as we could to an IRL hunt. Just, you know, gotta take him home, process the meat now, pack up the hunt, fill out the tag, call, get my information checked into the system, head back to the farm, and that's it. Nice, straightforward, and easy. Quick hunt, I love it that way. A short video, but, you know, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna try and get healthy and feel better before stream on Monday. Um, so, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!